Christ Church started as a dream in our hearts uh, five years ago while we were in Nashville. Delia and I had planted churches. We had pastored in Salt Lake City. We had pastored in St. Louis, and then we were associate pastors with L.H. Hardwick and Christ Church in Nashville. We were in Nashville when God began to deal with our hearts about coming here. And on trips to Houston, I would drive out on 290. I'd take an afternoon and drive and see all of the possibilities. I knew that it was a, a growing area. I knew that it was a future growing area. I would do demographic studies of the area on the internet. I studied about the Grand Parkway that will eventually come through here and intersect with 290 beyond that new mall and beyond Fairfield. We talked to our pastor and our friends about it and uh, made the decision to come. Then we asked Kenneth and Samantha if they would join us. But God gave us a vision for a strong and dynamic church in Northwest Houston that would be a safe and healthy place for people to worship and to grow in God and to experience the presence of the Holy Spirit and really to establish a kingdom-minded ministry for future generations. We opened our first service at Keith Elementary School in November 2005. Some of the people who visited with us that first Sunday and the following Sunday are our main members even to this day. They're just pillars in the church. We were amazed at the quality of people that God sent uh, to help us. And we would come in on, and set up on Friday nights and sometimes we'd actually have on Sundays, we'd have more people on the platform than we actually had in the chairs. But we just kept plugging away. That's what you have to do. And you know, I, I don't think we realized how challenging it would be starting afresh like this. But we knew that God had called us to do it. I remember one time, about six months into the plant, we invited some past friends over to the house. And we said, listen, what we really have you here uh, for is to pray for us. We want you to pray for us. We were facing some of those challenges of loneliness and discouragement. But you know what? God answered their prayers. We were strengthened, and we have been strengthened. After a year at Keith, we moved to Spillane Middle School. And it was, it was a good location, kind of in the heart of Cyprus and we continued to grow there. Uh, but, the, but you know, that setup and that breakdown every week was taking its toll on us. I, I do have to say that our people were faithful. New people would visit, and sometimes they would just go to work helping us out on the very first visit. And then uh, about two years ago, Marlene Williams told us at a staff meeting that there was a space for rent on Mishki Road, right on the corner of Shield and Mishki, part of a warehouse. And Marlene and Delia and Kenneth were all excited about it. We went and walked through it. I remember we invited people the following Sunday from the church to go and look at it. And they all walked through there and said, cool, we like this, we like this. And so they were right. So we moved into this facility here and, and it was just a warehouse. And we set up like we would set up in the school. We built a platform the first week and we just came in as it was. And every week there would be a little bit of improvement here and there. Uh, classrooms were, were, were basically just offices with yellow looking walls. And um, the artistic people in the congregation came in, really put their creativity to work and uh, developed into something that's out of this world. That's why we call it out of this world children's ministry. And of course, now you can see that it's, it's, it's really a, a, a pretty classy and comfortable place for us to worship. People who come in are amazed at how we have taken this small space and made it something really outstanding for Jesus. Since we've been here, we've more than doubled in number. And we're so grateful for those who have come to know Jesus, those who have been baptized, to those whose lives have been changed. Uh, some incredible things are take, not just have taken place, but are taking place here right now. We really appreciate this place. But we know that we've also maxed out our facility. And we want to be good stewards of the vision that God has initiated. You know, when your family grows, you start looking for a bigger house. And uh, we know that the kingdom of Christ is not about buildings, but Jesus did teach us that the material is not separate from the spiritual, that those two dynamics complement one another. So there are opportunities before us, 
and we're praying for direction. There's a shopping center that a builder never finished and it's on the market right now. There's also land for sale. God could open up any kind of door and we're not sure what door God is going to open, but we believe we need to prepare ourselves this coming year and be ready for the open door that God provides, just doing our part. So our theme this coming year is going to be taken from Luke the fourth chapter in the 19th verse, that it's the acceptable year of the Lord. I like what the NIV says. It says it's the year of God's favor. And the message says it's the year for God to act and it's the year for us to act. We're excited about the future of Christ Church, Houston Northwest.